From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Bonsacore's own Jeff Duchesne has been named one of just 20 Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Executive Nurse Fellows for 2014. Jeff, currently the Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at Bon Secours Mary Immaculate Hospital, joins a select group of nurses from across the country chosen to participate in the final cohort of this world-class three-year leadership development program that is enhancing the effectiveness of nurse leaders who are working to improve the U.S. healthcare system. Jeff has been practicing for more than 20 years spending the majority of his career in leadership and executive nursing roles. In addition, he serves on the editorial advisory board for Nursing Management Journal and speaks extensively throughout the country on topics of interest to nursing leaders. He is the national chairperson for the Nursing Management Congress 2014. Jeff is a fellow in the American College of Healthcare Executives and holds certifications as a Nurse Executive Advanced, Certified Emergency Nurse, and Certified Executive in Nursing Practice. Of Jeff, Dr. Linda Cronenwelt, Ph.D. RN, co-director of Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's Executive Nurse Fellowship Program said, at this moment, when the role of nurses in providing care and promoting health is expanding and our country's healthcare system is being transformed, we need nurse leaders with the strongest skills possible. We know that Dr. Duchette will do a tremendous amount to improve healthcare and build a culture of health in the United States. To which Jeff responded, I am honored to have been selected for the 2014 Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's Executive Nurse Fellows Cohort. Today's healthcare environment is incredibly challenging and complex. I look forward to working with my colleagues to develop the necessary leadership skills to lead during this historic time of healthcare transformation. Please join us in congratulating Jeff Duchette. Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at Bon Secours Mary Immaculate Hospital for this prestigious recognition and opportunity as a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Executive Nurse Fellow for 2014. In other news, part of Good Help ACO's success will be dependent on Bon Secours care coordinators. Accountable care organization regulations require all providers, including Bon Secours Good Help ACO, to coordinate care across settings. Traditionally, nurses have been responsible for coordinating care, including physicians in their offices, hospitals, pharmacists, rehab centers, and home centers, just to name a few. As a consequence, ACOs are calling on nurses to coordinate care on a larger scale across the continuum of the organization to ensure the delivery of high-quality care. Bonsa Core Good Help ACO is responding to this need by adding 37 care managers to fill the role of care coordinator. According to Good Help ACO Project Manager and Director of Implementation Keith Noonan, care coordination outreach continues to increase for our ACO population. And how is that happening? Well, active health management is reaching out through telephonic care coordination and nearly 10,500 Good Help ACO patients have been identified for care services through various Good Help ACO programs, and the numbers will only increase. Why? Because the manual care coordination has begun transitioning toward integration between Connect Care and Active Care Team. By the way, Active Care Team is an industry-leading care engine application from Aetna used to identify patient care needs. So, with the integration of Connect Care data and claim data, Active Care Team is helping care managers identify patient care needs 
in the care coordination process as required by ACO regulations. At the end of the day, it's easy to see how care coordinators, nurses, will become the backbone of Good Help ACO's ability to improve the patient experience of care. And remember, improving the patient experience of care is just one leg of IHI's triple aim, a critical component of Bon Secours Good Help ACO's continued growth. Finally, with all the changes taking place in healthcare today, it's important to be wired. And Bon Secours is one of the most wired health systems in the U.S. That's according to Health Networks Magazine's Most Wired Survey. But what does it mean, being most wired? Well, according to Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine, sponsor of the Most Wired Survey, there are four main areas of focus. Infrastructure, business and administrative management, clinical quality and safety, and clinical integration. To be considered a most wired hospital or health system, organizations must meet the criteria in each section to achieve the most wired status. And four Bon Secours entities achieved the most wired status, including Bon Secours Health System in Marriottsville, Maryland, Bon Secours St. Francis Health System in Greenville, South Carolina, Bon Secours Virginia Health System in Hampton Roads and Richmond, Virginia, and Our Lady of Belfont Hospital Bon Secours Kentucky Health System in Ashland, Kentucky. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.